Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthias. Today, we're going to talk about a notorious comic book that almost derailed a creative team off a series. We're going to talk about Incredible Hulk issue 360. In prior stories, Peter David had established that Betty Banner was pregnant, that she was expecting a baby. And for some reason, Marvel Editorial did not want this to happen. So they established that she had to lose the pregnancy. Peter David obviously really didn't like this and he threatened to leave the book. But it seems that he reached some type of compromise with Marvel Editorial. And this issue where they're going to establish that she loses the baby, it's not written by him. It's written by Bob Harris. Also, not only the main writer to the series is not on this story. Also, the main artist, Jeff Perves, doesn't do the art to this. We have art by Dan Reed. So pretty much we have a standalone story where we have Betty Ross. She has lost a child. She had a miscarriage. So the story starts off. We have Nightmare and Despair. They're hanging out, deciding whose life they're going to ruin. So what happens is Despair is drawn to Betty Ross's pain because obviously she had lost her pregnancy. He wants to take advantage of the situation when Nightmare sort of steps in a couple of times and almost ruins his whole illusion. It seems that Despair wants to be subtle in the way he tortures people and he takes it up very gradually while Nightmare is overkill right off the bat. So Despair tells Nightmare, look, go find someone else to torture. So what happens is Nightmare finds Mr. Fixit, the Grey Hulk. And what Nightmare does is that he establishes a mental connection between the Hulk slash Bruce Banner and Betty Banner. So we can make both characters suffer exponentially more. So we get this whole situation where we have Bruce Banner and the Hulk trying to save Betty Ross. They find out about this whole situation that she had lost her pregnancy. And thanks to their true love, they're able to stop the onslaught coming from Despair and Nightmare and defeat them. Now, this issue completely ignores everything that Mr. Fixit did to get away from Betty Banner and not take responsibility for this pregnancy. And to actually keep Bruce Banner under wraps so he doesn't go out and try to find Betty Ross in the first place. He wanted nothing to do with that kid. So it would have been really interesting to see what Peter David would do with this further down in the series. But we never got that. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.